Hello and welcome back to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Uh, today we are on the website of Ramco Surplus. So this is a kind of auction house kind of surplus dealer based in the UK. Uh, they have big kind of, they do clear outs of businesses and things like that. So most of the stuff is probably what you might see on other people's channels where they have old like warehouse clearance and stuff like that. But it seems that they happen to have a collection of ex-Royal Military Band Musical Instruments and Electronics. Um, so there's 118 lots in this auction. I've not been on this website before. Uh, I had a quick look at the information I advise you to do as well if you're interested. Uh, it looks pretty standard, kind of register, bid, etc. Uh, currency is in GBP, buyer's premium 15%, which is pretty good. There's sales tax. Uh, you can get delivery, but only to UK residents and export applications are subject to 120 pounds charge so that's quite high so unless you really want something maybe not worth doing at the moment uh with all the kind of brexit related uh, shenanigans so anyway without further ado let's just dive in and see what we get in this auction what there is and how they uh show it to us so the first lot uh, let's see if the internet is gonna behave today it's looking non-friendly. Okay, we're in. So Smith Watkins Cornet B flat serial number four twenty. Um, there, yeah, it's bid pretty standard kind of bid. So people like it. It's popular. Uh, gives you the idea of the thing. Uh, location Skegness, Lincolnshire. If you were interested in collecting, um, let's see. Has the details here. Uh, please check photos carefully for damaged or missing components. Sold as seen. No returns accepted. So we've got the um, the pictures here. Not the greatest quality, but at least there are a few. You can see there's kind of some wear there. Mm, quite a lot of wear. It's been well used in the case. Yep, so there you go. Um, let's see. We can... So there's a few pictures that's not too bad so that's lot one uh going to the next lot if i can just do it here that's probably easier uh hawks and sun cornet serial number 669039 uh so it doesn't seem to be any kind of like minimum reserve they must have just bought out this whole collection or whatever or just bought it as surplus as you do military surplus kind of stuff uh let's just quickly look at the pictures this way so that's interesting so yeah not that many bids um so this auction is uh just to check again is going uh it started on february the 10th and it's going on to march the 2nd so i'll put a link in the description if you're interested it's going on until march the 2nd you can bid on it uh Bijan hawks post horn these are quite cool um let's have a look it looks like all of the thing is the same it just gives you what it is and then view pictures and then basically check it make sure that you're happy with it so it's quite cool post horn i like that let's use this thing to uh could next lot what a wrong wrong button uh a, a buffet a crampon a clarinet oh very nice um quite a few pictures i mean it's a good good amount of pictures um you know, I'm sure all of these will probably need attention if they've been well used, but that's good pictures. Another buffer crump on clarinet, an A. Once again, good pictures. Another clarinet in A, so lots of clarinets. Another clarinet in A, slightly different kind of case. So, you know, if you want a decent clarinet at possibly a decent price, I guess it depends what happens in the next kind of 15 or so days uh incomplete clarinet damaged is seen in pictures yep so that's pretty damaged so this is uh yeah i mean this auction house is pretty open it's saying the issues it's showing pictures of the issues so you know i think this is fair enough opening bid so it starts at like five pounds it seems no one's interested in that uh imperial 926 clarinet as spares so clearly that's not in full working order there so 
yeah, you can see it's all uh, in parts, so very blurry, but you can see where everything's kind of detached, so uh, so far, interesting. Uh, Bundy Resonite Clarinet in the case. Okay, moving on. Bundy Selma 1400 Clarinet in case. There's a lot of clarinets. Uh, another Selma Clarinet. Ooh, clicking the wrong place. Uh, Bach TR300 Trumpet in case. So, dense in instrument and case damage. So, yeah, no, they're good. They're, they're definitely kind of... Say, I mean, you can... Phew, you can see it's like someone just dropped that, really. But, uh, wow, okay. That really is uh, quite dented, isn't it? So, But, I mean, I guess it's been in the military band. It looks like uh, a truck might have run over this. So, anyway, moving on. Besson & Co. Prototype Cornet E-flat in case. Oh, I bet this might be popular. See, like anything prototype musical instrument is kind of curious, isn't it? Yeah, very interesting. And Bach Stradivarius ML Model 37 Trumpet in case. Let's have a quick look at some of these pictures. We could expand them, but it's not too exciting. Best in 700 Fanfare Trumpet in case. I do find these interesting, these kind of fanfare things. Let's have a quick look. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, another fanfare trumpet. There's lots of bits on this. McQueen's Bugle. Lead pipe missing and excessive dents. I mean, you see a lot of these kind of older bugles, like kind of brass ones in antique shops and things like that, usually pretty battered. Usually you can get them pretty cheap, between 20 to 40 quid, but I like them, they're nice. Another McQueen's Bugle. Uh, another bugle, lining clamp damaged and dents in bugle. Yeah, uh, they're often pretty battered about. Another bugle. I've never owned one, but I do like them. They were cheap enough. Uh, Barrett's bugle, dents as well. So a lot of bugles. So it's all pretty consistent with uh, military stuff. Uh, McQueen's fanfare trumpet. There we go. Uh, fanfare trumpet in case. It's just a lot of similar things, I suppose. Another Boozy and Hawks fanfare trumpet in the Besson case. The Besson International fanfare trumpet in case. So another fanfare trumpet and another one. Yep, another one. More, more fanfare trumpet incomplete. Serial number seventeen oh one. So there's a lot of those. So if you want fanfare trumpets, this is. Your auction, Selma Bundy trombone in case, dents on instruments, so all of these things have had a hard life, I guess if they make a sound, it's not too bad, but I think a nice case. Uh, King Tempo 606 trombone in case, dents on instruments, so they've all had a hard life. Yamaha model YSL 652 trombone, damage and dents on instruments. Bark trombone in case. King trombone in case. Dents on instruments. Dennis Wick gold plated mouthpieces incomplete. It's interesting to see a whole box of uh, mouthpiece there. Well, it's quite useful. It's a good selection. I bet that might be a fairly popular item. A current bid 105, 11 bid. So. Uh, microphone system, we're not really too interested in microphones as such, but they are there if anyone is interested. I'll keep going past that. Ah, timpani, Adam's 26 inch timpani with mushroom cover. So that's quite interesting. Let's have a look, quick look at the pictures there. Timpanis are pretty cool and expensive, so I'm not surprised that there's a few bits on that, and it's cool. Uh, 29 inch timpani there so you could have your two timpanis there if you were inclined um, light control desk not really something we want to look at uh, transmitter receivers for microphones ah, amplifiers why not Hayden Peacemaker 60 guitar amplifier 
there's a lot of amplifiers i think actually in this auction which is interesting if it's come from military um surplus stuff because i wouldn't expect them to necessarily have this kind of stuff but nevertheless curious i remember that hayden amps from a few years back but i don't remember ever playing playing one so uh doesn't really have much information so I presume it's in working order 75 10 bids it's probably going to go for a few hundred i presume uh pv bandit yay another pv bandit so we see a lot of these pv bandits there's a lot of them around um yep some interest in that line six pod x3 live guitar pedal board so there you go some more line six stuff as you saw in the, the last auction so that's always popular another line six uh pod um right marshall 210 c 100 watt guitar valve amplifier nice yeah i'm not surprised that that's kind of popular the old jvm i mean it's probably pretty pretty decent amp in a flight case so it's all ready to ready to go on tour if the uh pandemic ever ever ends so that's cool oh vox ac30 very nice yeah some nice amps and nice kind of uh obviously a more modern one but uh with flight case yeah it looks pretty decent nice i'm sure that will go for a little bit more than that ashdown yeah the good old the old ashdown base company yep there were once again and they were fairly popular for a period of time the old ashdowns another ashdown and another ashdown classic klystron 500 bass amplifier in wheeled flight case nice well they do like their flight cases don't they castle cases uh roland k350 keyboard amplifier there's a good mixture of things here isn't it and another one carlsbro yeah colt 65 keyboard mixer amplifier good old carlsbro I do like the old carlsbro amps definitely played through one but i don't think i've ever owned one i can't remember I do you remember a while ago like a few years back they kind of went into liquidation and sold off some stuff and you could get some really amazing deals on some of the like good valve amps of carlsbro but uh yeah that was a few years back uh good old laney rbw 200 bass amplifier so it's probably a pretty standard decent uh bass amp another ashdown evo combo bass amplifier so like the ashdowns it's not a bad price so far another roland uh led protectors we're not into that oh a cork triton extreme keyboard synth how interesting there's a lot of pictures of this one looks slightly older i'm not really too up on these things but if you're into that kind of thing it's a yeah, good range another one so they've a few of those oh a korg n364 keyboard synth in flight case could be interesting and roland jupiter 80 keyboard synth one key out of place and no handle i think that's the key there isn't it we can see that's kind of slightly off wow it's like a rainbow rainbow keyboard so i'm sure someone is interested in that that's never seen that one before it's quite curious and there's a close-up of the key i'm sure that's kind of repairable if you know what you're doing uh line six bass pod xt live yep that'll probably be quite popular another one another one Ooh, nice marshall el 34 100 dual monoblock amplifier nice rack mounted amplifier very cool i think these are quite valuable it's a nice nice flight case yeah that's cool i've always wanted to try one of these actually yeah that's nice that'll go for good money i'm sure oh yamaha maple custom drum kit with various hardware stands in protection racket cases oh nice so protection racket like good case manufacturer yamaha standard kind of drum kit so everything's in it's a bit battered isn't it but if it's still still all good yeah there's all the hardware protection racket cases protection 
bracket for all of the toms and everything. There's a map. Yeah, pretty good. That's a full kind of good setup there. So, yeah, so that's very popular. That one is a good starter kit. Uh, 16 and 18 inch Zildjian A custom crush symbols, dent to rim, and Sabian 14 inch HHX Evolution hi hats and more. So, a few symbols there. Once again, popular the old symbols. Uh, some more symbols in protection racket bags. Very good. Ooh, a Premier 28 inch times 12 inch bass drum. Yes, uh, I did actually used to play the bass drum uh, very briefly when I was in the cadets when I was younger, so in the marching band, and it is uh, quite painful on the back actually. I wasn't really quite tall enough for it, and uh, bloody hot if you're marching around in summer, especially wearing like a fake leopard. Uh, kind of skin on top of your uniform it's uh quite interesting but fun um yamaha rbx 760a2 four string bass guitar in rock bag case well that looks absolutely hammered doesn't it yeah that looks like it's um had a pretty difficult life but uh um in no doubt that someone will pay a price and liberate that at 11 pounds so far but i'm sure it'll go up uh, silent brass pickup for euphonium, another euphonium mute or pickup mute, uh, pickup mute. Yep. Oops. Set of Yamaha vibraphone bars. So if you want to make your own vibraphone, you've got the you've got the bars there in carry box over thirty kilograms for shipping. So it's pretty heavy. Probably worth collecting that. Well, that's curious. Uh, let's go onwards to the next one. Uh, Premier 10 inch tom drum. Yeah. There we go. Adjustable music stands. Very exciting. More music stands. Amadeus acoustic shield. That could be quite interesting if you've got kind of doing some recording, if you've got tinnitus or something. Uh, keyboard stand. Various musical instrument stands, K and M instrument brackets. Okay, I think I've got a K and M uh, classical guitar stand actually from when I used to play that a bit. Uh, Showtech air unit. I'm not sure on that. Uh, brass pickup, mute, music stand lights. Okay. Yep, more of those. More lights, keyboard stand, keyboard stand, yep, more lights, more lights getting towards the end now, snare carrier, for a marching band, yeah, it goes over the shoulders stuff, uh, we didn't have any decent kind of carriers like that, when we just had like these horrible leather straps, and it was very painful, maybe they've got better ones now, uh, Gebra Alexandra mains mod 103 French horning case. Let's have a quick look at the pictures while we're here. Looks well, it's a bit scratched up, but mm, good bit of uh, denting there. They do like to dent things as uh, much as possible, don't they? Uh, another one. Uh, and another one. A few of those. Uh, best and sovereign euphonium. There we go. Some interesting things in this uh, auction. I am surprised that the military band has so many amplifiers and things, but I'm sure someone in the know could explain that. Uh, Yamaha flute in case. There's a lot of pictures there. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty good with pictures. Uh, another flute. I think we're coming towards the end. A Bach Stradivarius trumpet. Um, it's an international series trumpit. Howarth S2 uh, clarinet in case. Howarth, in fact. Uh, Howarth of London. Yeah, I think they've got a workshop by the coast somewhere where they do stuff. But yeah, they've got a store in central London. And another Howarth clarinet. We thought they might be quite popular. Uh, your Nagisawa saxophone. So that's quite interesting. Uh, 
Okay, and I think that's it. That is it. That is the collection. Um, I think if I was to pick something rather boringly again, I think I'd go to amplifiers. And I think I would have to... My pick of this auction would be this. Marshall EL34. I'd be interested to see what that goes for. 17 bids so far. There you go. It gives you the progression. I think that might be pretty popular and go for circa at least 500 pounds or so uh yeah no i mean it's an interesting auction actually and i'm gonna keep an eye on this website because i've not seen it before uh and see if they have any other musical instrument stuff i think they've had some other ex royal military band musical instruments in the past so they must be one of the people that's kind of contracted to clear this stuff from the mod uh, ministry of defense for the uk so yeah we'll keep an eye on it uh, an interesting auction pretty honest good pictures of where there's damage potential bargains maybe some restoration work here for people but all in all uh yeah interesting uh, auction so thanks a lot for watching ciao many thanks for tuning in to the musical instrument investigator i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did then please like uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon